You've reached the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. We are here to help. Para español, oprime el número 2. To reach the Veterans Crisis Line, if you are a U.S. veteran or service member. Or yeah, I have in the last five years, I have only lived in China and Arizona. I don't know nothing about no daylight savings time. We didn't have it in China. We didn't have it. We don't have it here in Arizona. I've not lived in a place that changed time zones since 2016. <laughs> so I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> But thank you for helping everybody remember so they don't go to work, go to um, go to church later, early tomorrow. I don't know which one it is. So we spring forward tomorrow, tonight. Ooh, this was that one night when the club felt like it closed early. I used to hate that shit. All of a sudden, the club was closed. I used to hate that, but we loved it when it was the other way around because then the club would stay open two hours later or whatever. You are calling about one. Press one to connect. This I'm playing this one for everyone. <laughs> <Williams. laughs> Any, anybody know who she's talking about? Ebony T. Williams? Does anybody know who that is? Maybe she. Maybe she blew up the other side of the car. That we didn't see pictures of. Fine. Your call will be recorded. Your call may be monitored for quality assurance purposes. During the silent transfer, you may hear beeps. Please stay on the line as your call is transferred. So your call, Jacqueline, while you're recording, they have a server recording as well. Okay? Keep that in mind when you say what you say and you threaten to kill people on the phone, Jacqueline. And she said that the reason why she's in a mental hospital is because they want to make her look crazy because she's aware. Oh, oh. Damn. She ain't got nobody on her side. That doctor said it's going to stay what it is. Don't even play with me, bitch. You're still going to be here. This call was crazy. Yeah, we listened to this last week. To the next available VCL responder. This poor lady. Oh. My husband's trying to kill me. He's stalking me. He's stealing my money. I can't get into any of my devices. He's now hacking and following me. He told me, well, actually, he didn't tell me. He told my goddaughter that if I came home, he was going to consider me a threat. You getting all these all these hours shit. Y'all, this is a whole other motherfucker. This is a whole different person on the phone. This is this is I mean every single person on this phone has gotten at least one or two different people. And I covered this last week. I broke it down into a clip called when all of Jaguar rights personalities show up on one call to conspire against Goomba or some shit like that. When we're playing the moments back and forth between the beginning of the call and the end of the call and how her personality changed. And she told Shauna Lewis, enjoy your last few moments of freedom. And then she took her musty, nasty, stinky butt down to the police station and got herself arrested again. And shoot me. Uh, I've been, I said to sleep in my car last night. I've had to call the police on him twice. Like, why won't, why don't you people go pick him up? I'm going to get that man killed. Hey. Hey, like your name, ma'am? My name is Jacqueline Wright Johnson. James, you are hilarious. 
Okay. And a good callback number. Ms. See, Franklin, I don't know if you guys know this, but it is now against the law for, for people to call the police on people frivolously. It's against the law. They called it the Karen Act. It's a terrorist. It's a it's a terrorist act. Um, for you to call the police on me. Ugh, my chair leg just started acting stupid. Um, that's why we got that Wayfair business account. Anyway, um, it's against the law for you to call the police on me and there'd be nothing going on. They call it the Karen Act. And I'm not sure if it's federal, but I think it is. I think it is. Y'all probably know. You probably have heard before. If she says she's flabbergasted, I say that every day. I actually was in a meeting with my two bosses yesterday. And I was like, I am flabbergasted. Like, this is crazy to me. <laughs> That's the case for disconnected. Mm, mm, mm. You don't have it on your switchboard? Her goddaughter. Fake Ma'am, relationship. Can I get a good callback number just yeah, I, I, I hear you, but I'm just asking because my phone number is very sensitive. Um, and now, so you said you called your your husband has been threatening to kill you. Yes, for the past two days. He assaulted me last night at my show. My show was canceled because he told my band he was having me arrested. Y'all know that wasn't was a show. thief. And, was and open they didn't mic have night. a job anymore, so go the fuck home. Y'all know that was an open mic night, right? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then he assaulted me in front of my drummer. She Six no men drummer. had to escort him out onto Cockrell Hill Road. None of then this he stopped outside, waited for everybody to go back inside when I was sitting in the car. Then he had the key to the access panel. So, y'all, when Shauna Lewis took that private jet to Phoenix, um, she used that same phone on that private jet to call the owner of this particular establishment where all these things supposedly happen and absolutely nothing, not even a little bit of what's being said right now is true. Got in the car, hit me and spit in my face. And then the guys had to pull him off of me out of the car and escort him off the property again. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that this is happening. I have no money. I have. No when you're sitting at home on your day off from work, does it ever cross your mind to just call a bunch of people and say a bunch of shit? Or do you try to avoid the phone at all costs and get into your space and your private and your peace? See, when you contribute to society, whether it's as a soldier or as an employee or a business owner or a mom or whatever, a teacher or a fucking chiropractor, when you use your energy to contribute and you get time by yourself, you don't do shit like this. Those of us who use our energy to contribute and our producers, when we get time by ourselves, we don't do shit like this. But people do shit like this, you find out they they living off of everybody else. They don't have to go make their own money. They don't contribute to anything. They don't even raise their own fucking kids. They don't cook. <laughs> And that's what this is. She got way too much energy. She's like my daughter. You got to give her something to do. Some dumb shit to do to waste her energy. Because this shit she's doing right now is what people do when they have nothing else to... You're literally harassing governments for nothing. I can see the point if there's a point because there have been times when we had to continue to call the police station or continue to call the mayor's office or the congressman or the senator and say the same thing until they hung up. Say it again until they hung up. Say it again until they hung up. You have a legal right to do that. You do. But this shit right here, you couldn't organize your way out of a coffee cup. No money because he's hijacked. All of our business money that comes in from our Roku TV channel, he's spending it. I have $5 a quarter taken. Y'all know that ain't no channel. 
Oh, we covered that. I'm clicking on the wrong screen. Yes. Stupid hoe. My son and my goddaughter, and we have no money because he's taking everything. Right now, we're trying to get control of my emails back because he hacks into my phone and my tablet and Where's shuts it down it? and puts a password on it so I can't get into it. I Where's couldn't even call 911 last night. <laughs> Oh. All right, so you didn't call. <coughs> you weren't able to call the police. He took out my fucking phone. Okay, is is he with you now? No, he's not. What the fuck do you think? This woman is so well trained. She is so. When I tell you, I forget what this lady's name is, but I took her to work with me every day this week. I did. As a matter of fact, I was in a meeting a couple days ago, and I saw this shadow over my shoulder, and it was her. I know it was. This woman has helped me make so much motherfucking money this week. Because the level of patience and professionalism that she showed with this motherfucking monkey face idiot, it convicted me. It helped me understand that I could have a worse job. I could talk to worse people every day. She don't get no bonus. She don't get no commission. She don't get nothing. She's probably volunteering. She's probably a psychology grad student. And this is part of her study or her service. She might be trying to get in a fraternity at her school. So she's doing this. I guarantee you this woman isn't getting paid for this. I guarantee you. But she doing it like a fucking pro. And she ain't even trying to fix it. She's just doing her job. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm just make, trying to make sure that you are safe. Yeah, I'm safe. I told you I slept in my fucking car. Okay. And so do you have any family or friends in your area bitch go oh, get yeah. him send somebody go fucking get him this nigga's threatening to kill me and i'm gonna tell you this right now if he runs up on me again like he busted my fucking windshield on a car i just bought barely barely at the beginning of the month shout out to you I'm Issa. do you hear me i will defend myself thank you for he your is a wild fucking animal right now i will shoot him and i will put him fucking down with that fitting so, I don't want to do that. Y'all heard that, right? Y'all heard Turkey, Tokyo Tony, right? Fucking around with that fitting all weed. That sound like you, don't it? Where T baby to say, hey yo, Tok. He's a veteran. It is good. You know what y'all done to him. Go get him. Get him some fucking help. He's been bleeding out his ass for three weeks straight and refuses to go to the hospital. I mean, she just laying all this shit bare. Like, everything is wrong. This man has not threatened to kill himself or her. <laughs> there you go. I knew you were still in here somewhere in the fucking bushes with a dog sleep on your motherfucking lap. I know you are. <laughs> Shout out to your puppies. I hope they're in a good mood tonight, especially the girl, because you know she runs shit. If she ain't happy, ain't nobody happy, honey. <laughs> Shout out to the delivery drivers. <laughs> Listen, y'all, this woman is nuts as fuck. Okay. Now, I know that honey, right? This is very hard for you to go through, ma'am, with what oh. you're going through with your husband. Thank you, Jennifer. He needs help. He needs help. Okay. Have you have you been in touch with any local resources, any shelters, any? We ain't talking about shelters. What would I need a shelter for? Eva, you're the you best. Said you were sleeping in your car. Yes, I slept in my car because I couldn't go home. Okay. Do you have anywhere to go? Bitch, you didn't I say I was safe? Friend? Okay. <clears throat> I had to console my daughter a couple weeks ago, and we even had to have a small conversation about it yesterday because she is heartbroken. 
that the Ritz-Carlton in Cancun has closed. She's five. She's never, ever, ever, ever slept in a car on the way to somewhere, but never. And this is a person who's calling herself a leader, an activist. (laughs) Right. She literally standing outside on the street fighting herself. Trolling herself. Y'all, my daughter is heartbroken that the Ritz-Carlton in Cancun is closed. How is this woman allowed to sit, to be quoted? Who? She can go stay at a Holiday Inn or an extended stay or a Days Inn, or a Motel 6 or a Red Roof Inn, or anywhere. I was so grateful a couple couple nights when I had to, um, you know, do what we had to do in Charlotte, and somebody put me up in hotels so that I wasn't at home. You know, because it wouldn't have been safe for me to be at home. And I could have paid for my own hotel. But, you know, the folks I was working with were like, no, we're going to put you up. We're going to make sure you're safe. We'll make sure you're protected. You're protected. You're secure. I didn't have to sleep in my car. I never have. And shout out to anybody who has. But. But you. You worried about Beyonce? Beyonce said, dropping my daughter off at school every morning. We slamming car doors. Beyonce didn't say she was sleeping in the car. You really need to get your priorities straight. If you sleeping in your car because you don't have any place safe to be, then you should not be worried about Beyonce. Or anybody else. So Weedy, Summer... None of them babies. Summer Walker, none of them people. Legina's skin looks a mess because she's eating like a... Girl, I am the queen of, if you like it, I love it, honey. I, you notice I took my face and my mouth off that stupid little girl because she's got to learn this lesson. Yep. Jagger be squatting at her house in her living room on the floor. With pampers in the corner. Little little clear plastic uh, bowls where the egg drop soup was. And now the top don't go back in. Because you know when the egg drop soup get hot. It melts the bowl. So the top don't never go back on right. (laughs) It's going to be a house full of egg drop soup bowls with no tops. Jaguar, uh, poor Legina gonna always hear Jaguar calling government officials, leaving them weird voicemails in the middle of the night. <laughs> Jesus, excuse me. <laughs> Angela go wake up in the middle of the night and she go hear, Le- hear uh, Jaguar in corners calling the police stations, leaving them weird voicemails. <laughs> And she gonna be like, well, Jag's at that shit again. <laughs> oh, my God, the flies. Oh, Jesus, man. You might be right. And you might be right. Ugh. Young Pharaoh. <laughs> I, you know what? I stop. I stop paying attention to him. Ma'am, like I, that. I, I no, because you starting to piss me. The things fu- that happened with how he treated a woman he was with that let me know he couldn't be trusted. Fuck off! I don't need no shelter. I'm not some poor veteran's wife who married him because I ain't had no job. I have a Roku TV channel. I am a YouTube con. You got a Roku TV channel, but you don't have a key to a hotel room or a safe house. Or a friend who you can stay with. Not even a nigga. But you got a Roku TV channel. 
I got a YouTube TV channel. I'm sure there's somebody on this live right now who's watching me on their television. Shout outs to you. I'm honored and privileged to grace your television. I am. Mm -hmm. I am. Absolutely. It's a dream come true for me to be where I am right now, sitting in front of you. And I thank you for the opportunity. Not LaGuardia. You got me fucked up. I can't even finish my thought now. <laughs> you done named this baby the airport. Not LaGuardia. Oh, Lord. But thank you, Rachel, for putting me back on track. I am grateful to whoever is watching me on your television right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Given that this YouTube channel, De La Creme De La, De, I can't even say my own name, De La Creme De La, which is the name of this YouTube channel, is on your television, that doesn't make me a, t a TV channel. Mm -mm. <coughs> Excuse me, I do need to break that down. <clears throat> I think I have to. Just because something's on your TV doesn't make it a TV channel. Let's let's go back. Television, radio, newspaper, print media, websites, or internet. Those are different forms of media. Yeah, my name is a tongue twister. <laughs> it is. Um, I just had a nasty thought. I had to come back. Listen, in order for you to have a television channel or a television network or a television station, you have to run through television. If you watch MSNBC, it's a television channel, okay? Me right now on YouTube is not a television channel, even though I'm a channel that you can see on your TV. What she does with Roku is not a television channel. She streams through StreamYard just like me. And broadcasts it on to Roku. That's not a television channel. It's an app. It's a show. It's a video. I just, I just, I'm not, it doesn't even really matter. I'm just saying, know what the fuck you're saying when you say it. Know what you're saying when you say it. I know exactly what you're laughing at too, Miss Naders. <laughs> know what you're saying when you say it. You can't, you can't say these things and then say you're going to sue the police for talking to the media. Content creator, I have money. Do you know where I'm at right now? I have money. I'm at the studio She's where I film studio. all of those videos that go viral every other fucking day. Now, I've seen her do videos from the car and this blanket. As I mentioned earlier. But I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to figure out because I'm in my kitchen right now. I'm in my kitchen. <laughs> I'm not at the studio. I'm in my kitchen at my kitchen table. I'm not it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Nope. Not at a studio. I'm able to do everything that I need to do from right here without having to go to a studio. God bless me. Okay. And technology. Now, I do want a studio. But I ain't never seen her make videos from a studio and, and none that go viral. And have you ever seen. Have you ever seen her make a viral video? Don't make me read you. Now I'm telling you, he's been online talking all kinds of shit. He's spiraling out. He's Shout out to your backyard. And he's threatening to kill me. What you gonna do about it? 
okay, would you like for me to um, do a three-way call over to the police so you can talk to them and tell them what's going on? He's not at home. How does she know? Okay, Phil, you can call. We can do a three-way call. and you can. He's in the streets plotting and waiting for my location on my phone to pop. Y'all, she got a quarter tank of gas. I have a quarter tank of gas right now. Remember, we talked about this last week, and I've been paying attention to it all week. Y'all, when my car went down to 100 miles, my car was like, I got a quarter tank of gas right now just because I get gas tomorrow when nobody else gets gas. I just feel like it's cheaper. I'm old like that. I just feel like it's pretty to get gas on Sundays. It's always going to be the same, 486 a gallon. I don't know why I think it's going to be cheaper, but. I got a quarter tank of gas right now. I'm not going. I'm not getting anywhere. That anybody, that my location would change, okay? I could probably drive from here. I could drive to my daughter's school about 11 minutes away and back. And I better get some motherfucking gas. You're not going anywhere that your location is going to change with just a quarter. She doesn't even realize what she's saying when she says it. How stupid it sounds. You're in a major city. In a major city. Dallas. Where, 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 where. You have to go a ways for your location to actually change like that. How often have you guys ever checked for your AirPods or your eye, whatever, and that fucking location was so wrong because you were in the vicinity of some shit? You got to go quite a ways for your location to change it. I'm not an expert. I've just watched a lot of Law and Order. And I'm having a hard time understanding how your and Goomba ain't sitting nowhere looking at your location. I guarantee you that. Up up in an area where he can so he can kill me. What's up, Rick Jane? Thanks for being here tonight. Okay, and so if you you feel threatened, and there's ways that the police can can get to him or call him. Or, ain't y'all the veterans? You know, ain't y'all the veterans hotline? This is the crisis line. Exactly. This is a crisis. crisis So tell me something. Why are you asking me to call the police and I called you? That's a stupid question. Because he served his country. Y'all shot him full of anthrax. He's all kinds of fucked up from the IED blast. Seeing people turn into pink mist. He has. For the fucking record. We have no proof or evidence that Goomba ever served in any military branch whatsoever. Not the Army, not the Navy, not the Space Force, not the Air Force, not the Marines. What else am I missing? We don't exactly Sabrina. She called the wrong. Well, she did ask for the veterans thing at the beginning. I did double check that. I, I'm trying to, yeah, right. Y'all caught that? I didn't even know about that. That's why y'all are here. When she said anthrax, it just went over my head. There is no evidence that Goomba has ever served in the military. He has never said where he served or what he served as, what his role was. People just call him soldier as a nickname. And they've been calling him that. For all we know, that might be his uh, psychosis. Because he always wearing army packs, uh, army uh, clothes. He always, these two nuts, Lord Jesus, they're like peanut pod. Shout outs to anybody with mental illness. Please don't take what I'm saying seriously. I just don't like this hoe. Okay. And she's she's weaponized mental illness in such a way that we don't have any compassion for hers. We actually have allowed her mental illness to become our tool because her character is so bad. Okay, so if you in here and you have any of these mental illnesses I'm talking about, I'm praying that you don't take personally what I'm saying about this person because I don't like her. Or what she's done or what she's doing.
Okay. So anyway, it might just be, but this is not a no judgment zone. She put herself out here. You ain't out here doing videos. So what I'm saying ain't about you. I ain't out here doing videos either. Y'all almost caught me, man. I'm so glad I was on camera with y'all yesterday. Cause man, that gave me a buffer. Cause that nigga looking at me, looking at me like he knew what the fuck he was doing. Man, I would have never let that go too far though. What I did was what I was supposed to do. Say something and close my fucking door. He was so tiny though. He was cute too. But anyway, I digress. Um, so what what I was saying. Oh, shit, I forget what I was saying. I'm trying to stay. All kinds of night terrors. He beats me oh, up in his sleep. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. We don't have no proof that Goomba was ever in the military. Somebody in the chin that comments, and this had to be a, one of his fandom accounts, because only somebody who is that person would care enough to make this comment. The person said, how dare you? All these guidelines in your comments, but degrade Gerald Johnson about his mental illness when he served our country. And I said, I go to work every day. I serve our country too. I'm as much a soldier as anybody else. The work that I do moves the economy. Literally. The, 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 the state of the economy is affected by work all of us do every single day. We are part of an army that moves this country in a certain direction from day to day. So you're not about to sit here and tell me that because a man went and colonized some places and probably raped some children and did some shit he had no business doing and furthered motives of a D d d destructive government you're not gonna tell me that he does not deserve to be judged on these streets he sat on that blue sofa he gonna sit on this one he put himself out there and i don't give a fuck what his service was it ain't got shit to do with what we talking about i don't give a goddamn it don't make him no different than nobody else Thank you for your service, but I every single day tell people who are teachers, masseuses, estheticians, hairdressers, every day I tell people, thank you for your service. And I mean what the fuck I say. I talked to an Eddie last week, and I was like, oh, thank you so much for your service. Now let's talk about this congestion. We are all here, if you, if you live and work in a country and pay any kind of taxes or do any kind of work, you are as much a part of your economy, which is why you don't get called to war, because you're already doing it. Okay? If your character is bad, we're going to fuck up, fuck up your shit too and make it, make it, make it, make it plain for the people. Come on. I tend to attract military men. The things these men tell me that they experienced and when they realized that none of this was for the freedom of their... Listen, that's a whole nother conversation. Don't even know it. That's what y'all done to him? Who, he can't her? even work a fucking job. That's her? why he works for me because no one else can hire him. Listen, I just told you I attract a lot of military men. I don't fucking date broke men. Uh, There's no reason why you can't get a job. He was supposed to be going to an aviation school and stole a laptop. That's his nature. That's his character. He watches videos on YouTube about tanks. He's still a child. Doesn't he look like a kid? He wears an army costume everywhere he goes. He doesn't wear regular clothes. But you chose him. You chose him. You was just floating around with him in a hot tub like a fucking rhino, buffalo. Both of y'all need a waist trainer. Y'all need to be wearing each other's bras. Mm -hmm. Shit. I'm sitting here calling the veteran. Yes. Hi. This is a fact, Miss T Lady. Anywhere you see her, she got a pamper on. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She confirmed it. 
when she said she was naked, so she missed the hearing on the tablet. You spend a whole night in jail in Texas, you come out sounding like Blanche Devereaux. That's how you know she crazy. Listen, she said broke boys don't deserve no pussy. Not over here. Listen, uh, my daughter's father, why well, I don't fuck with broke me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't fuck with a broke nigga because I'm not a broke nigga. Um, you attract who you are, that's for damn sure. But anyway, yeah, she said that she she didn't make it to her court hearing because she took her pants off to clean them because they were urine soaked. Well, I've been in holding before. I've never not been allowed to use the bathroom. She went in there with a diaper on. She had been sleeping in the car. She said she wears diapers because she travels a lot, which means, you know, she's homeless. And she don't want to have to stop when she's driving. Hold on, let me get that. Cause so that's why she travels a lot. So yeah, that is true. That is that is a fact. That is a fact. Lying, telling you that one of yours, one of yours, is sick and needs help, and you're calling, <sighs> telling me to call the police. Also, yes. I can also reach out to him if you would like for me to. I can reach out to him. Number- do you see all these things this lady offered to do? <sighs> Better than me. 214, we should have started there. His number's oh, 214 664 5024. Okay. Now you're okay, thinking. Ma'am. Oh, okay, ma'am. I just want to make sure. You're very you ineffective. Is there some kind of place where I can go give a review? Because I'm going to give you okay. four thumbs down. She, she trolling this lady. Okay, what's your husband's name? Gerald. Y'all think she trolling this lady? You think she knows what she's doing? Or do you think she's actually believing herself in this moment? Y'all tell me. Because I'm, I'm having a hard time believing that she don't know she being an asshole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shut up, Rachel. Stop. That's not supposed to be funny, but it tickled me because I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't ready for that comment. I was not. L. Johnson Jr. His doctor used to be Dr. Ed Tahi. Then they switched him over to this other bitch with this fucking nurse that likes to call him and flirt with him and shit. Fucking unprofessional bitches. Okay. Fuck the what? VA. For real, for real. Fuck the VA. His telephone number. She says that like this woman is like the VA. <laughs> Ma'am. For the second time. Two, one, four. Yeah. I feel like she's six, six, four. Five, zero, two, four. Do you have his date of birth? <laughs> Seven twenty one eighty four. <laughs> what well, Leo? Okay, he's right on the line. So Don't know it. I'm yeah, he seemed like a Leo you man. Know Leo. That's why he robbing me blind. Leo men are lazy. Okay, and his address. He got some good dick though. You know, mm. I swear to God. That's a thought. I I'm sitting here that. twitching and tweaking because I suffer from PTSD and I feel like I'm doing um a whole uh questionnaire, like a survey. Ma'am, when we we make contact with him, I just want to make sure I have all the I gave you his number and you refused. You haven't you haven't called him yet. I gave you the number twice. Okay, and, I, I want to make you sure that it, you are in You sit you here. You sit here. Please don't repeat it. Okay, ma'am. Now, 
Now, I want to check in and make sure that you're okay and you're you're safe. You said you're at your studio, correct? Right now, I am being triggered. My PTSD, I am triggered. Doesn't even make sense. And you ain't making it right. no better. Doesn't even make sense. And again, I am sorry that you're going through this, ma'am. Triggered now, what? Are like, you currently having any Okay, so, like, I remember when... I got shot by rubber bullets and when I got tear gassed over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And I know that I literally had to move out of the hood because like I would have flashbacks. Like there's certain things I can't smell or hear because it does trigger the PTSD that came with what I experienced. But I don't know what on this call is triggering. I don't understand what's happening. I don't hear this woman yelling at her or even being cursed or torsed or whatever the word is. Nice, nasty. I call it being Kojic. <laughs> she's not being argumentative. She's not being combative. Like she's even allowing uh, Jacqueline to raise her voice and disrespect her and threaten to kill her twice. I don't understand. I'm thinking about killing you right now. I ain't gonna lie. Jesus help me. But Please, you triggered. Jesus, forgive me for my thoughts. But you triggered. Okay. Um. If another fucking nigga asks me if I'm ready to commit suicide, I'm a, I'm, I might become a murderer. I hope she does. That'd be awesome. I got everything to live for. Are you having for. any homicidal thoughts towards your husband? Or no, just you else? right now. God help me. I, please forgive me, Jesus. Okay. Oh. Okay. Mm, that's what it is. I think she want the lady to show out. Ryan. Oh my God! I feel like I know exactly what you what you're saying too. Like her personalities are at war with each other. Yeah, I think. I mean, but she hasn't from anybody because, see, what Jaguar Wright doesn't understand is that we are trained to do our jobs, and we have passed and continue to continue to train to do our jobs. Jaguar hasn't had a vocal lesson in forty years. Uh, raise your hand if at some point in the next six months you know there's going to be some kind of e-learning, conference, meeting, gathering, huddle, coaching, something on your job that's going to sharpen your skills and continue to develop you for who you have to encounter and what you have to do and what might be challenging in your role. On an ongoing basis in one way, shape, or form. That bitch ain't possessed. I'm possessed. That's why I'm so powerful. She doesn't realize that she's talking to professional people. It amazes me when people call me and they're surprised that I know how to do my job. Are you that much of a bigot? Like, seriously, that you're surprised that I know how to do what you called me to do? You can't. I don't even know what that's about. Please tell me. When somebody calls on you to do your job, don't you know how to do it? And haven't you seen a couple things in your time at your job where you can kind of see around the corner or dodge a certain thing or move around a certain way? Jaguar is a rookie. This woman is a professional. There's a difference. Jaguar's not even a rookie. Jaguar is an amateur. Oh, oh. 
somebody said they want the link. Oh, don't make me nervous. I can't do nothing when I'm nervous. I, I can't even click. There you go. Listen, you're talking about a person who is literally trolling people and doesn't realize that these people get trolled all damn day. You know how many guys call this woman talking about, <laughs> my dick is hard. Say something to make me come. <clears throat> and she's got to be like, uh, sir, are you okay? I just want to check in with you and make sure you're, are you having any thoughts of suicide? <laughs> or whatever she does. Because she knows what to do. Just like when somebody calls me, I know what to do. Just like when something on your job calls for you to do your job, you know what to do. Jaguar ain't had a job. She's sitting at home play playing on people's time and on their goddamn sanity. And nobody deserves to be abused like this. That's why I say everybody is her victim. Hey, Miss T. Taylor, baby. Oh, look at you with your pretty self. Hold on, let me get us on here together. There we go. Can you? You look so pretty. What you doing so just so late at night? That's crazy. Ooh, mm -mm, that phone is doing it to you again. Hey, Jennifer. Welcome. How are you? Good. Wait, Miss T. Taylor, babe, it's 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 not letting you come through clear. You want to say something? I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Jennifer. Let me. No, no, Jennifer. Give me one second. Let me let her get her her together. Okay. Miss T. Taylor, baby, go ahead. Can you can you say something? I just want to see if you can be heard. Um, mm mm. It's computerizing everything you say. You want to drop down and come back up again? Okay. All right. Hey, Jennifer. Welcome. Hey, welcome to the panel. You? Thank you. I, I was the one that told you the other day. I don't know if you remember. You were on Perry's um, thing. And I was like, I stumbled upon your channel. And I Thank love it. Thank you. Listen, and I'm going to tell you something. Going. I don't even know how I ended up on there. I was watching a video about a neighborhood that I want to move to and his live just popped up and he got this wig on. <laughs> oh my God. I had never been in. Hey, Miss. T Wait, come back. Come back. Miss T Taylor, baby. I don't know what happened. Um, well, thank you. I'm so glad you found the channel, the network, the station. <laughs> yes. Yes. Your broken you channel. No, I'm just. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! That's so stupid. It doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't. Roku's probably tired of hearing about her saying, "Uh, in my Roku channel for nine ninety nine a month." But you know what? Wait, let me see if she can get back in here. Hey. Okay. Wait, say it in that. I'm terrible. Uh huh. It's doing it again. Yep, she dropped back down again. So what's your take on all this? This whole okay. uh, Jaguar right bullshit. What First do you think is all, next? I do think she has mental illness, but I, she knows what she's doing. She's antagonizing people. And just like y'all said, like she's calling people like, just like she's saying, like, I'm Rick James, bitch. Like this Jaguar, Jaguar right. You know, mm -hmm. did y'all get the call where she called the mayor's office yet? That's what we're trying to get to. It's at the end of this one. I'm just, there's a whole bunch of, she put all, oh, I know. all the evidence on one video for us with her dumb ass. <laughs> and she can't keep blaming Goomba for her being in there. First of all, she made all these calls to government officials, right? That's and they lot. all have recorded lines. And secondly... Not only did she record these calls, make the calls, she recorded them and put them on social media and then made commentary behind them and mocked everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, just fight it. That's the one thing. When she comes out of these situations, I look for her to be like, What? I said that? Oh, no, she she's proud of it. She doubles down. She doubles down exactly. She doubles down. 
And that's why we that's why we said we can't we can't give her any more room to breathe. We were nice to her <clears throat> for a long time, excuse me. And by us, I mean anybody who try to make the world a better place. Right. We were nice to her. And then when things started escalating with Angela, that's when we had to step it up and get real serious. And then with all this other stuff happening, her threatening to kill somebody's mama and all this other stuff, we like, you know what? We just going to have to set you down. Have you ever been grounded, Jennifer? Pardon me? Have you ever been grounded? You mean as a child? Yes. 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 I grounded my daughter today and I had the most peaceful day ever. I grounded my daughter well, nobody's ever going to be peaceful, get a peaceful day with Jag, not even Jag, you know? Come on, T. Can you hear me? Yes. Does it sound fine? It sounds great. Yeah, right. I like your mood. Like, it does. We will tell you if it didn't. Hey, if y'all could hear her, give her a one in the chat. If you can't, give her a zero. It's zero. No, I'm sorry. You, you, see, you see who's up, right? Which he's been oh, harassing me all goddamn evening. I'm ready to boy. throw him off the window. He's so cute. That's the puppy. That's the Sit baby. Out. He won't leave yeah, me alone. He won't hear you. Because that's the baby. Mm, little chuka chuka booga. Oh, he is marking his territory. He likes what your makeup tastes like. <laughs> Y'all need a show. You and that one. Y'all need a show. Jennifer, tell me like I'm lying. You. No, they're really cute. Oh my God, this chemistry is everything. Peace. I love the Bahamas. <laughs> yeah. Peace. And he's a sweet one to never met one that was sweet. What kind, of, what kind of puppy is that? He about to get a bath. He chihuahua. just don't know it. Get down. Oh, yeah. No, um... Can you unblock um Black Cherry? I haven't blocked anybody. If I did, it was an I accident. I blocked her by accident. What happened? It was I when know. I picked my phone up to tell you to drop the link because of him. I blocked him. Okay, blocked let me him. go. Let me go. Him let me her. go in there and figure out how to do it. I haven't unblocked anybody in a long time. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Black Cherry. Sorry, Black Cherry. Hold on. You be quiet. Where would I see? Okay, maybe you can help me if somebody in, the, in here knows how. I know where to do it in YouTube Studio. Let me just do it the way I know to do it. Hold on. Y'all watch this a little bit longer, y'all. Stay up here with me. Your energy is good. But you are, you said you're right. at your studio. You are, so you feel like you're safe at your studio. There's a doorman here. There's security Man, here. It's a door. And I'm in a locked door. And I have not left since I locked my door. There's a door, man. And I'm not alone. My son is here. And my goddaughter is here. Who he has emotionally abused. And, mm. and they're witnesses to everything as well. Me either. I mean, it's As like to the point I don't care if I'm in a wheelchair. Like a wild dog I'm going to kick that bitch if I see her. <laughs> That's why I can't feel, see, that's why I said we have to make a decision. You can't feel sorry for somebody and want them to, to, to stop doing what they're doing. At some point, a child has to have consequences. You know what? I I I I think the, the my theory about that pregnancy shit. I think they really trying to get Legina to get the picture and go. But what it picture? looks like she got plans, honey. Gina got what are plans. You talking about? Huh? What do you mean the get the picture? I have, I don't know nothing right. about this pregnancy. Or yeah, nothing. Pregnancy. Y'all gotta catch me up on that. I think she's saying like. You know, like, hey, there's somebody else coming. We don't have room for you anymore. Is that what you're saying, oh, Miss T, baby? Yeah. Yep. Don't get rid of her because she's I not talented. She, her, her, you know, she don't bring in views. She home. Yeah, she's she's not. I think she's. I think she's. She's. It's it's scary. Well, you know what? I was it's mad. So I started here. She was at Jack's it's mother's scary. house. They've only known her. Two weeks. Jag's mother has, you know, problems herself. 
Jazz exactly. locked up in a in the hospital, and Legina's on live still talking about she's R. Kelly's daughter, and Jag's mother's in there cooking dinner for her. I know that lady is uncomfortable. You know, Jaguar don't know what that girl is capable of. I would be so she uncomfortable knowing this Didn't child. Did she get a fight with her sister-in-law while she was pregnant? Yeah. Yes. Yes, and she always talks about this scar Two in her months arm. ago. Right. And and she's sitting up there while Jag's mother, who does not know this woman, Lay. is making dinner. You get up there. Lay. And I'm she's sorry. On making videos talking about, oh, my mother, Aaliyah. I know Jack's mother's got to be like, this child is crazy. Her mother is not Aaliyah, and R. Kelly is not her father. And I'm like, well, you know, you see how Jack, y'all uh, hear her call up on how, J and shout out to Hear Her TV for bringing all that stuff back up again, because y'all, that road is dark and dirty, going back and learning Jag's history. I appreciate mm -hmm. Hear Her TV for, for letting y'all see that, so y'all could see where our fire comes from. Because right. we're not just coming right. out of our ass with, our, right. with this righteous indignation, but you hear how this woman talks to her mama. Yep. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that, um, that recording where she was calling her mother... And uh, that video and, is years old. Yes, that video which, is years old. Yes, but where she was talking about, they're saying I'm stealing your check, and her mother was like, mm -hmm. like "I don't, I don't know why they would say that, Mama." Right, but, and but the, her I, mother, I heard, I heard, I heard partial of the conversation that she gave up today, or whatever. And Goom, it was her and Goomba, and they were arguing about money. Or whatever, and she was telling him that she not gonna ever give him a divorce, especially right. if she is pregnant. Listen. She's pregnant with all them damn peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and jello oh, and crackers right let me now. See. Let me Bitch see if I can out real quick because he don't know how to use the internet. So, um, yes, you don't need both parties to consent and and. Goomba called me. I'll tell you how to get a divorce, honey. I did it myself. Shh, fuck them niggas that want to hold on to you but not take care of you. Hmm. I did it myself. I'll tell you how to do it. I don't want shit from you because you make my dick soft. Mm. Uh. <laughs> he is not nothing I want. Them the kind of niggas. I don't even make friends with niggas like that. Right. I don't like Girl. I don't like people who can't bring who ain't take I I just I'm I think independent people are I don't mm -hmm. I don't fuck with broke people. He's just like, like he you could tell he a, he a person he probably always um got females that like took care of He's him. A Leo. They always had, like, this yeah. He's a Leo man. Leo men mm -hmm. always got women taking care of him. That's why they lazy mm -hmm. as fuck. You can and tell and they selfish too. He selfish can't. as fuck. He needs guidance. He needs a mother. He needs a mother. That's the thing. He's never grown up. He needs someone, like you said, to take care of him. Like everything. But well, that's fifty percent of their problem. She's jealous of the bond that he has with his mother. I mean, you have a son. You know how much you love your son, or do you? Well, d does she? Because the way the way you I feel about your son, he feels about his mother. I well, block this girl. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I need Black her Kitty. phone number. I don't even know how to do it. Hold on. What was it? Account uh unblock you Black Cherry. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm starving. Yeah, I haven't eaten yet either. I haven't eaten I at been all day. Driving me crazy. Who? Chasing me around for food and whatever. I'm trying to straighten up because I went and took a long shower or whatever. I come back, look like a fucking hurricane hit my living room. Girl, you might be a child. Because at least you can drink clean it up. Because hmm? this how's your no oh. Sorry, go ahead. How's, how's your puppy? Um, He's five months old and oh, girl. the girl is... uh. Oh, oh you, yeah, got you got a birthday coming up. Her birthday is um March 18th. Okay. And so there. she'll be two. So 
So yeah. Hold on, I'm getting there. Huh? I'm talking to my computer. Oh. 